In the firearm industry, people think uh, you spend most of your days out on the range. And unfortunately, nothing could be further from the truth. If we're lucky, we get a couple of events a year to go shoot. And for me, my passion is shooting long range precision. When we started working with John Beagle at Helix 6 Precision, the conversation every day was about accuracy. First, those conversations were our groups at 100 yards. And that led to you know stretching it out further, 500, 1,000 yards. Then we started having conversations about stretching out to one mile. Now, one mile is not unheard of, but I wanted to throw a twist in there. Let's do it with everyday components. Of course, this stuff is going to be high end. It's going to have to be. But what if we could shoot factory ammo, for example, or use a bipod that doesn't cost $500? So uh, John invited us out to his range in Lyle, Washington. Our crew and I made the trip over from Montana and found ourselves on the range zeroing. After we got the rifles uh, dialed in at 100, we uh, started stretching it out, working to uh, shoot 500 yards. So we started stretching it out from 500. Let's go for 1,000, let's go for 1,200. Felt confident in the rifle and, and, the, and the bullets, so we decided let's go for it the next day. We found the opportunity to get out there. We are like, let's do it. Let's shoot a mile. Hey guys, Clint Walker here. Uh, I'm on the Helix 6 uh, Precision Range in, outside of Lyle, Washington. And this morning we are shooting one mile. We got out here yesterday. The conditions weren't ideal. It already heated up. We had too much mirage. But this morning it's just beautiful. There's really not a whole lot of wind down on target. So we expect to see some uh, good impacts. I want to talk to you a little bit about the rifle that I'm shooting because I know people are going to ask. When you shoot a mile, um, you know, you can get lucky and, uh, you know, with just about uh, any rifle if you, if you have skill. Um, but we're going to try to take some of the um, guesswork out of it by using precision components and, uh, and quality components. Uh, of course, starting first with my Helix 6 Precision Carbon Fiber Barrel. I've got that in a uh, chambered in 6 millimeter Creed on the Falcor 7 Action. It's also in the Falcor CSS chassis, uh, painted by Eli Urian. I've got an AB suppressor on the end there. This thing sounds so good when it shoots. It's very, very flat uh, tone, and the cover on it is made by Alfednar. On the side of the rifle over here, I have the DEMA from Tribe Defense, or Tribe Optics, rather. Um, this is the uh, DEMA. It stands for Distance Interface Measuring Apparatus. Um, I've got a little paddle switch here and I can range. Um, I can't quite get out to a mile. It's only rated to a thousand yards, but yesterday we were ranging targets um, out to about 1300 yards. Ammo today, I'm shooting this Burger ammunition, uh, factory loaded ammo picked up at Optics Planet. It's a 109 grain um, hybrid. Um, this ammo is legit. I mean, it's a very, very good looking round, very high precision. Uh, we measured it with the chrono and saw a deviation of three. Um, that's, that's incredible for a factory loaded ammo. Um, let's see, underneath the rifle here, I have the uh, Fab Defense Spike Bipod. And for a shooting uh, rear bag here, I've got the Alphanar uh, rear bag and a, another rear support from Alphanar, uh, just, just to get comfortable. The mat that I'm shooting on is actually my rifle case, also made by Alphanar. This is actually my favorite shooting mat. It even has a position uh, to grip the uh, bipod and it helps with uh, when I wanna load um, the rifle, which is super important when you're shooting long range precision. Uh, Loophole Mark V HD. I've got the uh, trimmer reticle in mills. Obviously I always, always wanna shoot mills, just uh, that's the math that I know. Uh, the wallet that I'm using here, also made by Alphanar. Uh, while the conditions last, let's go ahead and, and get started and see if we can strike that target. You guys ready? On your ready. Right, on target. Okay. Send one ready. I got no wind. No wind. Stand by.
pack. Yeah! Woo yeah! <laughs> nice. Ah, nice shot. Dude, do it again. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna send another one. There's still no win. Stand by. Send it. Impact. Yeah. yeah. Back to back. Nice. Should we try to ride the unicorn here? Let's do it. Go for three. Right, so you got a little right, uh, you have a right to left about. I see it. About two miles per hour. I see it, I see it. I'm gonna give myself another half a mil. Impact. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Right there. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well done, man. Yes! Well done. Yes! Woo! God dang. That is awesome. One mile with a six millimeter creed. <laughs> Dude. Well, what bullet are you shooting? I'm shooting this, uh, what is it, a 109 Burger hybrid. Uh, burger ammo, factory ammo. Damn. That is badass. I'll talk, I'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more about that. Dude. Oh. N not even a better place to do it. Look at this view. Well, let's go look at it. Let's do it. Uh, so look, we just just uh, got down to the target here. We're seeing some impacts. Um, you know, when the conditions were optimal, we saw the wind just flatten out, very little mirage, and so I decided to send three back to back. Um, I'm super happy with this result. If you don't shoot long range, especially when you're shooting a mile, uh, this is, uh, pretty exceptional, particularly here, if we're talking about a three foot per second deviation in that round, yeah. that could account for that. You can also get reticle crawl from, from the Mirage. There's a lot of variables and of course, just a little bit of wind uh, picking up. You can see our splashes are coming down this way because from where we're shooting, we're actually coming in at a different angle. Um, but all things considered, I'm super happy. When we started this, so John reached out to me uh, months ago. We, we were talking about Helix 6 and his range out here, which is exceptional. I've been to ranges all over the world, and this is unequivocally one of, one of the top ranges I've ever been on in terms of beauty and just uh, variants and targets that we can shoot. And he said, Clint, we can shoot steel to a mile in a couple different directions out, out at the ranch, um, which is, you know, anyone that shoots long range, you know that that's a rare uh, thing. So I really wanted to shoot a mile with this six millimeter Creedmoor that you guys have put together for me. We started talking about it when we got here and and you weren't really hip on the whole idea. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a questionable feat I think based upon the density altitude today. Um, our velocities were going transonic at about 1400 to 1500 yards. Yeah. Um, which we weren't really sure what was going to happen after that. Right. So um, it looks like that, and this is an eight twist barrel. And it looks like that eight twist barrel uh, stabilized that 109 Burger yep. uh, hybrid um, well enough to get us some impacts on steel today. And I think we ended up at just over a touch over a minute, which is better than I honestly thought we would do at this distance yeah. uh, with what we had to work with. But I, I'm super impressed. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed too. Full disclosure for ever, anyone viewing at home, uh, this this was actually day two and attempt three at, at hitting a mile. Uh, we got in here just a little bit late yesterday. We tried, uh, it already started to heat up. We had a ton of mirage, mm -hmm. wind was kind of gusting. We've got canyons here and especially right off this side really drops off and uh, it just, uh, you know, we couldn't even see where the bullets were impacting. Um, so I think I probably, these three impacts represent a, a total in terms of shots, tw 25, 30 shots probably. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, and, you know, just happened to ride the unicorn, so to speak, in, in these last three. So, you know, full disclosure, we didn't just come out here, lay down and, and whack it. Uh, we had a lot of dope uh, over the last couple of days and we just kind of uh, figured out what the best was. Yeah. It was pretty awesome though, when 
when we're shooting, I mean, with this loophole, first off, I'm, I'm seeing that target uh, pretty clear. So my Mirage was really, had started, instead of shifting left to right, um, it really just all of a sudden started uh, going straight up and down. That tells me that wind is very flat. John saw it and said, hey, we got no wind. We're trying to get a drone into place and wait on that. And I'm like, you know, we just got to send it, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and as soon as we knew we had that impact, I'm still seeing the same condition. The rifle is super stable. And, you know, that's thanks in part to the, uh, the fab spike uh, bipod and, of course, that Alphanar uh, shooting rest. So I just racked it again. I'm ascended again. And I, th I actually think that my second, I think this was my first and that was my second. And then my third, the wind started to pulse a bit. And, and we saw it and you can see right now. Yeah, we can feel a little uh, bit of it. And you know, the, what's funny is now the wind's actually shifting direction again. So, um, super excited, uh, burger ammo, factory ammo. Yep. Super impressed with that round. Super impressed with that um, transonic uh, uh, flight path, that stability, the ability for it to get back into. Um, what do we have for our extreme velocity spread? What was it like three feet per second or three something? Three feet. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. that's uh, even hand loaders have a difficult time achieving that. And to see that come out of factory ammunition, oh, is, for real, is super hard to, to attain. So uh, we had all the all the right tools today, today and uh, we had a little talent behind the gun to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, a lot of thanks to the crew, everybody out here. It's actually taken a lot to pull all this together, and guys painting targets and flying drones and doing all this stuff. But man. I can't wait to get out here and, and do this again. I'd probably like maybe a, a bigger piece of steel, probably make it a lot easier, and uh, maybe a big berm behind us so we yeah, actually know absolutely. where we're hitting. But anyway, thanks, John. I appreciate yeah, having you me out, Glenn. man. All right. yeah.